Here is a closed loop characteristic equation. Are there any roots of this equation in the right half plane or on the j omega axis? We'll use the Ralph table to answer that question. We'll create a Ralph table with six rows. The rows are identified S5 through S0. We enter the coefficients of the closed loop characteristic equation into the first two rows. We then calculate I as B times C minus A times D divided by B. Then calculate J B times E minus A times F divided by B. Then calculate K B times G minus A times H divided by B. There's a pattern here. If it's not obvious yet, it will be in a minute. Since G is zero and H is zero, therefore K is zero. Relative to K, two upper right zeros exist, therefore K is zero. Now calculate L. The calculation of L requires that two values be here. There aren't any, so we add zeros. We add as many zeros as we need to the right in order to make the calculation below. Since we saw before, uh, since there are two zeros here, that means that this value is zero, for the same reason that k was zero. Now calculate m. m is equal to i times d minus b times j divided by i. Calculate n. n is i times f minus b times k divided by i. Notice that k equals zero. Therefore, n equals f. This is another shortcut. If the value to the upper right is zero, then the value you're calculating will be equal to the value above the zero. Next, calculate P. You really don't have to calculate it because we can see it's zero because these two values are zero. If we need to calculate it still, then the calculation is I times H minus B times L divided by I. See the pattern now? Q is zero because there are two zeros to the upper right. Calculate R, MJ minus IN divided by M. S is MK minus IP divided by M, but that value is zero because the upper two right values are zero. U is equal to zero for the same reason. V is equal to Rn minus Ms divided by R, but that value is F because the one upper right value is zero. F is above that zero. W is Rp minus mt divided by r, but that value is zero because the two upper right values are zero. And we can complete the table now because all the values in the upper right are zero. X is zero, and Y is also zero. And the Ralph table is complete. It's ready now for interpretation. We're ready to answer the question, 
about the roots of the closed loop characteristic equation. While completing the Routh table, any row may be multiplied by a positive constant without changing any of the values below. For example, row 2 can be simplified by the multiplication of 1 over b, which will make the first element in row 2 equal to 1. This will simplify all of the calculations in row 3. This is the first column of the Routh table. The number of sign changes in the first column is the number of right half plane roots. Provided that there are no zeros in the first column. Ralph created this procedure in 1905. Ralph did not have a TI-89 calculator, which will calculate the roots of the closed-loop characteristic equation. The Ralph table is still useful for answering the following question. Given some closed-loop system with an unknown parameter k, determine the value of k that will make the closed-loop system marginally stable. This is a critical value of k. The values of k larger or smaller will make the system stable or unstable. A little more work is needed to determine stability or instability based on that critical value of k.